Juan San from the Patreon. Here we go. Here is a tone spoon with a shit. What is that? Spin. That's what it says in the request. So that's what I'm saying. Tone spoon spin. My body. My body. Oh, my water do. Man, I got I'm since I went to Japan, I just stopped all of the uh Japanese kind of studies. That was something I did every day and now I'm just like, nope. <laughs> I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> when I got there, like what I knew was useless. Like everybody in Japan already knew the same amount in English and they wanted to use it. So I like put Fourth, I'd volunteer something in Japanese and they would just respond in English. I'm like, all right, fine. <laughs> Tone spoon. Here we go. I like it already. Damn, there's a lot going on. This is great. I really, this is great. And I really want a Fender Jazzmaster right now. Or Jaguar. Whatever the fuck guitar it is. Those two guitars, either one of those, I want one. I want one, and that keyboard player looks like a cool dude. Like, I could hang out with that guy. As far as the guitar goes, I'm pretty much stuck with what I got for a while, folks. Until <laughs> I uh, double freaking Patreon subscribers, this is, this is what we got. Which is fine. I have plenty. Don't get me wrong. I don't need any more guitars. I really wish I would have bought that fucking Telecaster that I found in Japan. It was fantastic. I found uh, 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 a Fender Telecaster, Japanese-made Tele, and it had been modified. Um, a wide field pickup had been put in in the neck position, and the thing sounded incredible. And... I had Yo and boji san both trying to talk me into buying it. Of course, Elliot wanted it, and I was like, I could, I could take the neck off and stick it in a suitcase, but I didn't. I didn't buy it, which is fine. I have enough guitars. But man, that would have been cool. Anyway, every time I see a damn Jaguar or Jazzmaster guitar, I want one. Every time I see it, it's being used... It's not like having that guitar makes you able to play anything else. But they're just so freaking cool. The body on those is one of the most comfortable bodies I've ever played. Because my red one, my Tornado is basically kind of a jazz, a Jaguar shape. Kind of. It's like a, it's like a, like a portly Jaguar. <laughs> a little fatter body shape, but uh, it's super comfortable. Even more so than a Strat, I think. The balance has shifted a little backwards, so it's super comfortable to play. So anyway, uh, let's go back to the song. I don't even think that's offended.
This sounds so good. Drummers, subtle, but goddamn. Is this the Furigana you guys are talking about? Muwaru. So here's your kanji. This is explaining how to say the kanji. And this is your Muwaru. Right? Right? I, mean, I did learn something. <laughs> if that's right. They're going to be like, no, idiot. Okay, yes. Correcto. Okay. So uh, this song has what I like to call implied heaviness to where the guitar tones don't really change that much, but with what they play, it becomes just fucking heavy. Like there was a heavy moment in that song and it's just by what was being played, which is great. They didn't rely on effects or distortion or screaming or anything like that to bring the heaviness to the song. I'm not, I'm not, uh, whatever. I'm not saying anything about any other music. I'm just saying they, there was a heaviness that happened. It's like Silicon Inter does that to where, they can, just by what they play, it just seems heavy as hell. Even Rage Against the Machine did that. Tom Morello pretty much kept the same tone through the whole song, but it would go hard. And the middle of the last, what, after two-thirds of the song, like a moment happened, it, was just, it just felt super heavy. You could, you could hear it in the drums, but yeah, it was really cool, man. I like that a lot. So Tone Spoon is uh, really, really cool. I dig it a lot. 